Hello everybody, this is Jacob Hiller with the Jump Manual. I want to talk about LeBron James because uh, he's everyone else is talking about him, you know, and I want to hear what you guys think about the whole situation. So uh, I have some friends, uh, one friend in particular, who is actually the president of the LeBron James Hate Foundation. And so uh, we talk a lot about what's going to go on with LeBron and, and Dwayne Wade and the Heat. And one of the things that he said, you know, that uh, that other people have said, and he might, I, I might be misquoting him a little bit, was basically that LeBron James uh, would come to be the equivalent of Scottie Pippen on the Bulls, which is not necessarily, that's not an insult. I mean, Scottie Pippen is a heck of a player, but uh, I, I, I disagree. You know, I think that, that LeBron James is going to lead the team and be the consistent source of, uh, of points and leadership on that team. And not only that, but we always look at things like, you know, Michael Jordan and Scottie Pippen or, you know, comparing it to Michael Jordan, who's going to be the next Michael Jordan and so on. But, uh, you know, what I what I think is we might see something that we haven't seen before, as in both LeBron and Dwayne Wade uh, really helping each other to to magnify and synergize each other's talents. I mean, the last several games we've seen them both, you know, LeBron came off 30 points and Dwayne Wade had 25. And last night, you know, LeBron had 25 and uh, Dwayne Wade had over 30. So, I mean, we're, we're seeing them really start to play off each other and magnify each other's talents rather than cancel each other's talents out. And I've always said, we've got to wait till mid-season before we can see anything uh, from this squad and see what they're going to be all about, especially once they get it all together. Personally, I think they need a bruiser. I think the Heat need a bruiser, a big a big man, some type of post-game before they can do anything. I like Bosch. He's got a smooth stroke, but I just don't consider him to be... Uh, a bruiser or a down low presence or someone who's going to really fill that role for them. So anyways, uh, got a lot of, you know, in our subscribers and on our Facebook page, we've got a lot of Kobe lovers, we've got a lot of Braun lovers, we've got a lot of Braun haters. So, uh, you know, I'm going to come right out and say I, I think the, the Heat, and I want to see the Heat um, at least make it to the semifinals. And I think it'll be against the Celtics. And um, I'm holding my prediction for that so far, but right now I'm gonna I'm gonna say that they're gonna make it to the semifinals. Um, at mid-season, then I'll make my prediction on whether I think they can take the Seas because the Seas are a heavy team. They are a heavy. They're the heaviest team in the league, I think. And, and they're big, and they they're experienced, and they play well together. Um, anyways, I would love to see you know even the Seas or the Lakers. You know, the Shaq versus Kobe thing would be good. But I'd also like to see uh, the LeBron versus Kobe in the end. Anyways, I want to know what you think. Um, you know, regardless of whether it was the right thing, I want to know if you think um, that LeBron is going to take a back seat and going to be the, the Scottie Pippen of the Heat, or if uh, if LeBron is going to take over the leadership and kind of the, the scoring lead in that situation, or... Um, if you think it's going to be something completely different, maybe the both of them are going to magnify each other's talents and, and we're going to see something interesting. Uh, one thing that has been fun about the whole ordeal with LeBron and Dwayne is the controversy of it all. Man, I just love to watch these games uh, with there's that emotion and that kind of controversy and it just makes it so interesting. A little drama, so uh, I'm a sucker for it. Anyways, love to hear what you think and open up this debate a little bit and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.